Good morning. I gotta give everybody time to get up in here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everybody's morning going? Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Good morning, Tia. Good morning, Inspiring Queen. How you doing, Body by Kira over here on uh, TikTok? How you doing this morning? Good morning, Heather Smith. Uh, praying for you. Good morning to you, Lynn 21. How you doing this morning? Good morning, good morning, Desire. How are you this morning? The Girl Flex, I see you, Cherie uh, 21. Good morning to you as well. Good Good morning, Georgia. Good morning, Hope. Good morning, Terry. Good morning. Okay, okay. Good morning, Amanda. How you doing? Good morning, Grand Rising, Rich Rising. Happy New Day to the Chosen family as y'all slide into this chat this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing, Sharon Bradley? How are you doing, Miss Georgia? Good morning. Um, Is it Veronica? Good morning to you, Lisa Clayton. I see you. Good morning, Felicia. How you doing, Felicia? What's going on, Michelle? I see you coming in there. Dancy, I see you, Nicole uh, Eason. Good morning to you, Doris. Uh, 127. Hey, Doris, how are you? Crawford, Antoinette, good morning to you. Man, okay, TikTok. I see y'all over there hitting that subscription button. Uh, make sure y'all, yeah, make sure y'all subscribe to my pages. Um, that's on TikTok and Instagram. I actually have my Instagram uh, subscriptions turned on as well. Make sure y'all turn on your subscriptions and also turn on your, um, your, 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 your notifications so you're notified when I'm live. You know, whenever I'm dropping new content, whenever I'm live, make sure y'all got it turned on already so y'all prepared and don't miss nothing. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. Hope. I appreciate Appreciate that. Uh, first set of stars coming from Hope over there on Facebook. Good morning, Benny Simpson, Takesha Hodges. Good morning to you, love. How y'all doing this morning? Double tap on my screen as you come in. BK Danielle 17. How you doing this morning? There go my girl. What up, Purple Flowers 93? How are you this morning? Good morning, Justin. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Grand Rising, Rich Rising. Happy new day to the Chosen family. GG, good morning to you. I see you coming in. Precious Mom, how are you? Auntie Nate, thank you so much for the flowers. Oh, Always. I love you. Can't wait to see you this weekend. Double tap on that screen. Shirley, how are you this morning? Anissa, good morning to you. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. If you do not have a ticket, if you don't have a ticket for the event, we're gonna be we're gonna be in Wardrobe, Maryland. We're gonna be in the DMV area. That's where we headed to uh, this Saturday. This Saturday, July twenty seventh, I will be speaking in Wardrobe, Maryland. So if you in need of a ticket, if you in need of a seat, it is sold out on Eventbrite. But do me a favor and inbox me. Inbox me if you would like to come to the Get in a Room tour. Inbox me on Instagram. It's the same tag, Street Poet underscore 1125 if you wanted to get in but did not get a ticket inbox me right inbox me double tap on my screen double tap double tap double tap get in the room man mm. And y'all know after we leave Woodruff, Maryland, the next stop is what? Nashville, Tennessee. If you're in Nashville, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, or any of the surrounding areas, do me a favor and make your way to Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you, BK, uh, BK17 for the badge. Make your way to Nashville, Tennessee. I am on the way. That's going to be August the 17th. So if you're in Nashville, if you're in Memphis, if you're in any of the surrounding areas, grab your cowboy boots and your hat and make your way on over to Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. I will be there all, um, um, I'm about to say April, August the 17th, Saturday, August the 17th. I'm telling you, I'm so many places. I'd be like tongue tied. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing, sweet baby treats? Good morning to your mama. How are you? Toya Pressure. What's up, Toya? How you doing this morning? Do me a favor as y'all come into the room real quick. I need y'all to double tap on my screen. Y'all know the drill over here on TikTok. We need to get up to 10K so that we can jump right on in. Over here on um, IG, we got, okay, there we go. We got two badges. We need four more badges on IG so we can get started. And we need... Uh, about what 160 more stars on Facebook so we could jump on in and get started double tap on that screen double tap on that screen send me some love this is morning walk word and worship where you get your morning inspiration that's right you get your morning inspiration you get your morning motivation you get your morning confirmation right here Right? That what we do, we give you a spiritual win, a mental win, and a physical win. Your physical win is because we get up early in the morning, put on our sweat clothes, our gym clothes, right? And we get on our ellipticals, we get on our treadmills, we get to walk in at our local gym or even our neighborhoods to get our physical win, to get that flow going inside of our life, right? And then we get our spiritual win because y'all know I always see on every single live with what? With that word. We're going to walk away with that word. We're going to walk away inspired. We're going to walk away feeling empowered and lifted, right? 
right? So you're going to get your spiritual win and then you get your mental win because y'all already know we're going to come and drop some what? Some gems. We're going to drop them gems. We're going to get you motivated. We're going to get you pumped up. That's what we do over here. That is mind, that is body, and that is soul. Those three positive deposits all by themselves is what top tier self care. If you do that every single morning, you're starting your day off with nothing but positivity, with nothing but great energy. You are taking back your power and setting the tone for your morning. And we do this every single morning from Monday through Friday. Y'all see us right here every morning. Friend say, hold up, because we at 11K. Friend, I see you. I see y'all TikTok. They like, wait a minute. We had 11K. You said 10K, baby. We just hit 11K. I see y'all. Double tap on that screen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I love it. That's what I'm talking about. I love it when everybody be excited about what they supposed to have already. Like, wait a minute, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it in there. Let's get it in there. Make sure coach good. What are we going to be talking about today? Double tap on that screen. Double tap on that screen. Double tap on that screen. The life that you want, you got to be willing to work for it. The life that you want, you have to be willing to work for it. You have to be willing to make sacrifices for it. You got to be willing to go against to grain for it. You got to be willing to step outside of the old you. What you say? You have to be willing to step outside of the old you. What, do we, what we gonna open the gate? Yeah, open, open the gate. Y'all need 20 more stars over here on, on Facebook real quick. Open the gate. What you say, coach? Open the gate. Y'all gonna find out while I told y'all. Y'all gonna find out and y'all gonna find out by the end of this live while I say open the gate. What we gonna be talking about? Open the gate. You gonna have to open up that gate. There you go, Facebook. Y'all reach y'all reach the 200. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Open, open that gate. In order for you to have the life that you are deserving of, in order for you to have the, your life that you know for a fact, if you've ever sat back, right? If you ever sat back and just sat, just sat there and was just chilling, just thinking about all the work that you've put in, thinking about all the time that you didn't shown up, thinking about all the things that you've done. Come on, Heather Gigan. Come on. Come on, Inspiring Queen. Let's be real. Let's step outside for a second. Let's think about all the time that we looked at ourselves, our creativity. Look at all the money that we've spent. Look at all the love that we've gave, all the things that we've done. Just think about it. If I would have utilized all of that, that grit, if I would have utilized all of that passion, if I utilized all of that finance, if I would have did everything that I'm doing right now today, if I would have done this 20 years ago, if I would have done this 30 years ago, if I had the knowledge and the understanding that I had right now, oh man, where would open the gate? If you sit back and you think about that, and you ain't even got to sit back and think about it long, but if you sit back and you think about that, and you look at, God, dog, if I had friends say, man, coach, I, I, it's Monday. Oh, boy, if I would have, if I would have only knew, if I would have only knew, come on, Crystal Love, if I would have only knew, right? But the thing about life is we can't go back to what we didn't know. And we can't do anything about what we did not know. Thank you, Tracy, for the first teddy bear. I appreciate you. We can't do anything about what we did not know. Guess what? That, that, that's a fact. The only thing that you can do now is sit. If, if you look over those things and you see all of that, only thing that you can do now is to get up and move with a sense of urgency. What you can do, coach, you can't go back and fix any of that. You can't go back and do anything about that. That is already time spent. That's already money spent. That's already energy spent. That's already love spent. All of that is already spent. There's no return on that. No matter how much we feel like there should be a return policy, hello, because it's some of y'all that act like me and I know it. Baby, I wish I could get my love back. I wish I could get my time back. I wish I could get my effort back. I wish I could get all my energy back because guess what I, you don't even deserve it you didn't even deserve to be connected to me you ain't deserve to share space with me you ain't even deserve yeah what was I thinking understand that yeah we got yeah come on come on now you be real don't leave me out here by myself let's just be real about it there's something that we cannot get back come on Heather Smith let's be real it's things that we won't get back that is already spent so the only thing that we can do at this point of our life is now get pick ourselves up dust ourselves off Wipe them tears from your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get back in this game of life. And when you get in this time, you have to get in and you have to move with a sense of urgency in your life. You got to move in your life like you got something to do. You got to move in your life like you got somewhere to go. You got to move in your life like there's something that you have to accomplish. And you ain't, yeah, yeah, and you ain't got tomorrow to do it. You got to do it right now today. Every single move that you make, everything that you do, it has to be what? Strategically planned. It has to be well thought 
thought out. I'm not doing anything in this season of my life. I'm not doing nothing that I ain't already thought about. Hello, somebody that right there is going to get you because I'm going to finish it. When you say, coach, every move that I done made in this season of my life with the level of awareness and, and discernment that I have, guess what, sweets? I meant to do it. Hello, somebody. You have to look at somebody right now. Some of y'all in that same situation and you're saying, coach, you know what? I just told that to somebody. I just said that to somebody already. They looking at me like, oh, you might going to regret that. And I just looked at them and told them I did what I meant to do. There's a difference between me and you. I did not act out of my emotions when I made that decision. I was very much cool, very much calm, very much collected when I delivered what it was that I delivered. And I plan to stand all 10 toes to the ground about it. Understand that I'm no longer playing for, with folk. You will not be able to disrespect me. You will not be able to walk me like a dog. You will not be able to talk to me crazy. You will not be able to use or abuse or mishandle me and still have some type of access to me. You won't be able to use me, abuse me, mishandle me, fumble me, understand that, and still reap the benefits of me. I'm going to show you how. Yeah, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing people not used to. Come on. Good morning, uh, Latoya Westbrook. How you doing? Uh, Whitmill Lynn, how you doing? Adrian, good morning to you. What you say, coach? Yeah, you ain't going to be able to treat, you ain't gonna be able to treat me no any kind of way. You ain't going to be able to treat me no any kind of way. No, I'm about to show you better than I can tell you. Uh, it's all about action. Quarter three, baby, this is all about action. You done messed up now. Yep, 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 yep. You should have caught me while I cared. You should have caught me while I was invested. You should have caught me while I was over there sending them four-page letters. Baby, yeah, ain't no more four-page letters coming your way. Ain't no more more me downloading text apps to try to get in touch with you. Ain't no more me popping up at your mama house trying to see if she done heard anything. Me calling your best friends to see if your friends gonna come over there. Ain't no more of none of that. And what else, coach? I want to get your red in here now. Baby, ain't no more of me trying to understand why you move the way that you move. Ain't no more of me trying to understand why you said what you said. No more of me trying to sit down and rationalize with you. And no, 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 no. We're not doing that. The days of the back and forth, the days of the tennis in the conversations, the days of trying to make it this and make it that. Baby, I'm all out of excuses for you. <laughs> I'm going to drink the water on that one because that's it right there. Because some of y'all, some of these people still in your life, not because of them, but because of you and your own. You've been making excuses for them for so long. Mm -mm. Excuses tied. Excuses. It's like we ain't got no more for them. They did exactly what they wanted to do, babes. Understand that no matter how much you try to dilute it, no matter how much you try to make it make sense, no matter how much you try to rationalize, no matter how much you try to forgive, no matter how much you try to line them ducks up, one duck, two duck, three duck is all over there doing their own thing every single time. That individual is not interested. That individual is not connected. That individual is not for you. Understand what you say, coach. That's not your match. You trying to make it your match, but that's that's not your match. And at one point or another, you're going to have to be honest with the damage that you're doing to yourself by staying connected to an individual that have no love for you, have no respect for you. An individual that have already shown you exactly how they see you, that have shown you that they don't value you, have shown you that they don't respect you, have shown you exactly what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all out of it. I'm all out of it. I'm at a place in my life right now. I'm all out of it. Come on, double tap on the screen. I'm all out of that. I'm all out of excuses, coach. I'm all out of trying to make it, make it make sense. I'm no longer trying to understand why you did what you did, why you moved the way that you moved. I'm at a place in my life right now where it's what's next. What's next? That's it. That's all. What's next? I, yeah, that's, that, that, that's just how I'm moving. Understand that. It's what's next. You did what you did. I felt what I felt. What's next? I'm moving on with my life. The day of me and being stuck, the days of me being stagnant, the days of my feet being stifled because of what it is that I'm experiencing is out the door. I'm no longer going to be that individual. The moment that you sit there and you look back over your life and you see the amount of love and time and energy and finances that you have wasted, that you have wasted on people, places, and things that wasn't deserving, that thing right there, that should not discourage you. I want you to change your perspective because some of y'all are still sitting still right now because you allowed it to depress you, to stress you out, to make you feel like it was over for you, too late for you, you too far gone for it. And I want to this morning, I want to wake up something in the inside of you and tell you that as long as you got breath in your body, that today is a brand new day for you to do it over. And if you pick yourself up right now, then you, yeah, 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 come on, make the rest of your life the best of your life. 
Move with that urgency, babes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you probably had counted yourself out. You said it was too late for you. But get up. Make the rest of your life the best of your life. I know you probably thought that you would never come back from what it is that you've been dealing with. You've been dealing with it too long. No, 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 no. It's never too late. As long as you got breath in your body, you can start over. Start over and start over and start over. Because what do we call that? Divine right of choice. If I see something is not working for me, then I have a divine right of choice to pick me something else. If this relationship ain't relationship, then I have a divine right to pick me another one. If this friendship ain't friendship, then I have a divine right of choice that I can pick me another one. If this family ship ain't family in the way that it's supposed to, then I have a divine right of choice that I can pick me another one. What are you saying? You are not stuck. Stop lying to yourself. Stop telling yourself that there's not, I'm, I didn't been here too long, so what? You didn't been there, over, you didn't overstayed your welcome. Thank you, Doris, for the cash out. You didn't overstayed your welcome. You didn't overplayed your part. You didn't overspent your finances. It's time to go. It's time to G-O, baby. Big capital letters. It's time for you to get up out of there. Understand that. And you ain't got to explain it to nobody. You ain't got to make it make sense with nobody. You ain't got to break it down with nobody. The moves that you make for your life, the decisions that you make for your life, it ain't got nothing to do with nobody but you. You ain't got to explain what you're doing for your, for your life to nobody. They're not living your life. Take off that false sense of responsibility. This is about you. Enough time has passed. Enough time has been given up. Enough love and fight that's been done already. We can't do anything about what's already spent. The only thing that we can do is get up and develop a sense of urgency about making the rest of our life the best of our life. Yeah, 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 baby, this personal. This personal, this, yeah, come on now. Good morning, Savannah, how are you? Coach, love you, have a good day. Yeah, 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 come on, double tap on my screen. I'm gonna make the rest of my life the best of my life. I'm going to get, which are y'all ready for? Yeah, put it, write it down. I'm going to get where I'm going in life, even if I gotta drop you off along the way. Yes, sir, baby, yeah. What you say, coach? I'm gonna get where I'm going in life, even if I gotta drop some folk off along the way. If I gotta put you up out my car along the way, understand that I will drop you off at the nearest McDonald's, nearest Chick-fil-A. I will put you off in the Walmart parking lot. Understand, I'm going to get where I'm going even if I got to drop you off. Hello, somebody. that's just where I'm at with it. Understand, that's just where I'm at with it. Because when you look at your life, if you're not inspired, if you're not motivated, if you don't get that awakening within the inside of you after you see all the time, the energy and the effort that you didn't waste it, if that don't prompt you to get up, if that don't prompt you to snap into action, if that don't prompt you to say, I cannot end like this. This can't be my final destiny. The nation. I got to get up out of this. I deserve more. Come on. If you look at it and you feel defeated, if you look at it and you felt like you wasn't able, you weren't capable, that you weren't enough, we want to shift your perspective this morning. If you've been looking at it and you've been feeling like it was too late for you, that you didn't, yeah, I'm too old for this now. I don't know if I really won't change. We want to change your perspective. We want to shift your mindset this morning. We want you to know that you are deserving of more, that the way that you started should, didn't have to be the way that you finished this thing. You may have started out with nothing. You might have, you might have started out with nothing and we get it a lot of us come from nothing a lot of us stunk started with, with with empty hands we get that but it's not too late I know the enemy wants you to believe that it's too late for you, that there's no coming back for you, that it's over for you, but I just want you to write in the chat real quick, it's not too late, it's not too late. And I know that that might bring somebody to tears because it is one thing to think something, it's another thing to hear it out loud, and it's another thing to type it where you see in black and white, baby, listen, it's not too late. You, you're lying to yourself. It's not too late for you to start over. It's not too late for you to start over. It's not too late for you to do something new. It ain't too late for you to get out of that relationship. It's not too late for you to disconnect yourself from anything or anybody that is not servicing you, that's not in alignment with the life that you're creating for yourself. You have to get where you're going in life and you have to get there even if it means that you have to drop them off, even if it means you have to put them up out of your car, even if it means that you have to disconnect yourself from them, even if it means that you have to separate yourself and feed them with a long handle spoon if you have to distance and fast yourself from folk you owe it to yourself to get where you're going it's not too late it's not too late it's a couple of things that you have to understand that 
Number one, you have to have some type of belief in yourself. You have to have some type of belief in yourself. You have to know exactly what it is that you want for yourself. What it is that you want out of your own life. You have to know, baby, you know what? I got, I got to start working on me. Understand? I got to start working on me. I got to start working on my life. I got to start focusing on my myself. I got to start focusing on my, my development. I've spent majority of my life being wrapped up, being tied up, being distracted with other people and what they got going on, coach. I don't even know how to start over. You can start over first by, one, shifting your perspective. That's how you can first start. Now, 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 now from now on, Guess what I'm going to do every time I have a negative thought? I'm going to replace that negative thought with a positive thought. Every single time I start to think something negative, feel something negative, I'm going to shut that down expeditiously. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to start making sure that I start correcting my environments. Any environment that I'm in, if it's not supporting the lifestyle that I want to live, I'm about to get up out of there. I'm about to start fasting. I'm about to start praying. I'm about to develop me a healthy pressure plan. I'm about to get in the right rooms around the right folk, people that I can grow and that I can evolve with, understand that. People that are going to hold me accountable to make sure that I'm doing exactly what I need to be doing because it's my job to make sure that I win. Whose job is it? It's my job. It's not too late for me. It's my job to make sure that I win. It's my job to make sure that I win. That's nobody else's job. That's nobody else's responsibility. That's nobody else's burden to carry. And I want to tell you this right here. If you let it be somebody else's, if you let somebody else carry that for you, there's a 99.8% chance that you're not going to win. I want you to understand that there's a 99.8% chance that you're not going to win if you're relying on somebody else to bring you the win. Why? Because some folk, oh yeah, some folk want to see you do good, but not better than them. Some folk want to see you win, but you ain't going to win more than me. Some folk want to see you have, but you're not going to have more than me. And that's the chance that you're taking when you are relying on other people to bring you your win, to hand you over your win. And you got some folk that'll show up with your win and they'll give it to you only after they didn't took out what they want from it. Hello, somebody. You can't get I want you to understand. So what are you telling you? It's your responsibility. Go get it yourself. That, yeah, I don't need nobody bringing me nothing. That's mine. Put it in my hand. Don't come here. Yeah, I, yeah, I develop my own relationship with God. He ain't got no business telling you nothing to tell me. I know exactly where I'm, I, what I need to be doing in my life, exactly how I need to be doing it. In my, I'm good over here, baby. That's why, yeah, that's why it's so important because people will do what? They'll drop their stuff on you. They'll put, yeah, the people come over there and they'll drop their stuff all over you. They'll come over there and they'll speak all kinds of stuff over you and you over there looking crazy in the face like, what? I ain't that. that never been the case. Hello. Come on. Let's just be real about it. That's why it's important for you to have your own relationship. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about having your own relationship with him. Being able to get up every morning, show that gratitude. Being able to get up every morning, all throughout your day, having that open line of communication. Like, Coach, I find myself praying all day. And you should. Now that you're praying all day, make sure you find a comfortable spot, right? Because it's one thing to pray, and it's another thing to get the answers to your prayers. Find that comfortable spot. I told my people in quarter two, create a safe space inside of your house, a place that's just for you, that you can go and you can sit in that space, and it's calm there. It's peaceful there. It's quiet there. Why? Because when I pray, I want to hear from you. I don't want to hear from other folk. When I pray, I want my confirmation to come from you. I want to feel the winds that the people in the Bible talk about. When they say the gush of wind came and when the wind came, they heard things. And when, when the bush started burning out of nowhere, just out of nowhere, based on the prayers that happened. I want, I want to get that type of insight. I want to have that level of closeness. I want to have that level of relationship. Not religion, but relationship with you that I can trust my own gut, that I can trust my own intuition, that I can trust my own body, my own environment. Understand that that's the level of trust and respect that I want. That's the relationship that I want with you. Come on, double tap on the screen. Let's just be real. Why? Because everybody ain't going to want to see you win. Why, Coach? Yo, yo, yeah, yeah. See, sometimes I give them homework as assignments, and I think that they think that, oh, yeah, it's just what she wants us to do. No. Yeah, it's always a, it's always a reason for why I want you to be here. Come on. Thank you, Tracy, for that, for the next teddy bear. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always a reason of why I want you to do certain things, right? I don't give out homework assignments for busy work. This ain't busy work that I'm giving you. I give you stuff that's going to help you grow, that's going to help you evolve, that's going to help you develop and create the very best version of yourself. 
I'm preparing you, understand that, to go out and everything that you face, you're no longer going to operate with the same mindset that you were operating before if you follow the plan, only if you follow the plan. But if you show up and you don't take the homework assignment, you don't complete the homework assignment, if you show up and you don't do the work that you need to do, then guess what? The results that you're going to get is going to be based on the work that you've done. Hello, somebody, what you say, coach? I, I, I want you, yeah, the, the results that you're going to get is going to be based on the work that you've done. So if you ain't did no work, then you already know why you still feel the same way that you felt in January. In quarter one, when you came in, you feel that way in quarter three because you show up, but you don't do no work. <laughs> Don't blame me. I'm just saying. Don't don't blame me because I get homework assignment now. I put the work out there. And you know what? I, you know why I use that example? I use that example because it's the same exact thing. I want you to understand that it runs. It runs parallel with what? If you have faith but you have no works, then faith is nothing. If you have faith but no works, then it's nothing. It's the same thing in your life on a regular basis. My job is to show you how your physical man and your spiritual man, they are twins. They are almost like they are, they are twins. They're the conjoined twins. And you have to feed them both. They are twins. They're, they, 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 they're connected. And you have to feed them both. Just like you want to feed your natural man, you have to feed your spiritual man on a regular basis. They are twins. They are connected. You're not going to go days without food and if you go days without food you're going to have your smoothies you're not going to not feed your physical man because you already know the results of that just well that's what you do to your spiritual man every day when you wake up and you're not opening the books when you're not going through the self-help books not reading your chapters not showing up for your prayer not showing you you're starving him and anything that you want to destroy starve it all you have to do is starve it out that's it. All you have to do is starve it out. So you're walking around feeling that weight. That's your, that's your spiritual man saying, I need some energy. I can help you walk, but you got to feed me. I can help you carry that load, but you got to feed me. I can help you get to where you're going, but you got to feed me. You're feeling that extra weight because you got one man that is stronger than the other. Go ahead. Y'all might as well go ahead and write it down. What you say? I said your spiritual man and your natural man, they are conjoined twins. They are right there together. And the problem is you want to feed one without feeding the other. You want to feed one, pour into one, turn up with one jump on the couches, have all the bottles, party, party, party with one. But then the other one is over there and he's severely starving. He doesn't have anything in him. And he's saying, hey, if you want to live that life, I'm talking about the life that's going to exist outside of the club. I'm talking about the life that you don't even need a bottle in order for you to enjoy. I'm talking about the life that you, yeah, once I, st once I start working with you, you're going to have a natural flow in your life. Once I start working with you, you're going to start feeling things that you've never felt empowering and love and peace and joy that you've never had in your life but in order for me to give that to you you have got to turn me up the, the, you got to turn me up the problem is you want the temporary turn up you want the one that's going to last for the four hours and then you get home and you're sluggish and tired and don't want to get up and function in the next day I'm trying to give you one that'll turn you up and it'll turn you up for the rest of your life. Because every time you if, every time you are faced with something, I'll pop up. Every time you deal, oh, I'll pop up. I'll be in your mind. I'll be in your heart. I'll be in your spirit on a regular basis. There's nothing that you're going to go through that you will ever feel that feeling of loneliness again. But the problem is you want to turn up one without turning up the other. And I need for you to understand something. Your belief in yourself is shown in the way that you treat yourself, the way that you speak to yourself, and the way that you invest in yourself. Understand that. If you want that better life, if you want to grow, if you want to heal, if you want to go to your fullest potential, you have to look at yourself and push that, that, that sense of belief in yourself. I can do this. You have to watch the way that you talk to yourself. You have to watch the thoughts that you have about yourself. I can do this. I am capable. I am more than enough. I am deserving. I am worthy. I am beautiful. I am beautifully made. Understand that you, I am more than enough. You have to watch the conversation conversations that you have of to yourself with yourself understand that you have to watch that internal dialogue the conversations that never leave your mouth what you say your belief in yourself 
It's shown in the way that you treat yourself, the way that you speak to yourself, and the way that you invest in yourself. The way your belief in yourself is shown. That right there, that's called that's gonna cause for what? A self-evaluation. And if you're paying attention, I somehow or another always bring up a self-evaluation every seven to fourteen days. Why? Because you you're supposed to be changing. You're supposed to be growing. If you show up for these videos every morning, you should have some type of growth in your development in your life. And if you're growing on a regular basis, even if it's baby steps, if you're growing on a regular basis, then you should be doing a self-evaluation on yourself every seven to 14 days. Why? Because you're not the same person that you was a couple of days ago. The information is different. I've learned more. I've grown more. I've shown myself what I'm able to do. I've been consistent with my morning routine. I've been picking up self-help books. The information that I got is changing the way that I think. It's changing the way that I show up. So things that I thought was okay last week or two weeks ago, it ain't okay right now. Why? Because my thought process have changed. So ever just having the 14 days, I'm evaluating myself. Go back to the note. The note is your belief in yourself is shown through the way that you speak to yourself, the way you treat yourself, and the way that you invest in yourself. Are you willing to invest in your growth and your development? We know you want to look good on the outside. We see you. We see you with your Doshe Gabbana. We see you. We see you with your name brand this, your name brand that. We see you. You look real good on the outside, but we're talking about are you willing to make a spiritual investment on yourself, on your growth and development? Are you really, are you willing to get in the right rooms? Are you willing to sign up for the right classes? Are you willing to buy the right type of books? Are you willing to do the necessary work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, sometimes in order for, yeah, we, we, as we were coming up, you know, understand that we didn't have, we didn't have social media. We didn't have, we weren't able to learn things from the comfort of our own home. We didn't have the virtual classes. We weren't able to just zoom somebody in. So how is it that you can have a class right there for you that you can zoom right on in? <laughs> okay. I just ain't got the time. I would do the class, but you know, I, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, don't complain about a life that you ain't willing to do nothing about. The same way you bought them shoes, you could have bought that class. The same way you made sure you got that 27 piece, late fried, died, and laid to the side, you could have got that class. Understand? Yeah, okay, but I'm gonna move on to something else. Cause sometimes we, uh, sometimes we'll buy, we'll buy all that materialistic stuff, and that stuff will sit there. It'll sit there, room full of clothes, room full of shoes, and it'll be just sitting there collecting dust. When the last time you pulled that out? When the last time you put that on? Might have worn one time, and it sit there for the rest of that year because you've already worn it once because you already then had that on already. So it's just going to sit there. But had you, yeah, okay, but had you taken that class, had you taken that class, had you got in that right room, and that would have been something that, what, the notes that you would have took from there, you would have been using for the rest of your life. The things that you would have learned from there, you would have been taking with you for the rest of your life. But yeah, oh yeah, it had the return on it would have been different. The return on it would have been different. Oh yeah. I'm just saying how you, your belief in yourself, your growth and your development is riding on the way that you treat yourself, the way that you speak to yourself and how you're willing to invest in yourself. How far are you willing to go to get the life that you say that you want? Because your growth, your development, your breakthrough is all on you. Whether you win or you lose in this thing of life, it's all up to you. It's, it's, it's the same thing every single day. Every single day. Why? Because we get mad. We get frustrated. We get agitated. We get annoyed. And then all of a sudden, when we get into our feelings, then we want to throw everything away. We get into our feelings and, oh, I don't care no more. They ain't say what I wanted them to say, so it don't matter. I thought I was going to have a good time, but since it ain't really fun, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave. But everything in life ain't going to be fun. Everything in life ain't going to be all smiles. Everything in life ain't going to always go the way that you wanted to go. You're going to experience some bumps along the way. You're going to experience some rocky moments in your life. And no matter how designer your shoes is, 
no matter how nice your outfit is, no matter how much that lace front is, understand that when them rocky moments come, the rocky moments don't care nothing about it. That lace front won't be able to do nothing. That thing can be all the way laid down, but the moment that life start lifing, it will rip that thing back. And what Meg Stallion said, turn it around to like Effie. Baby, don't get your wig twisted like Effie. That's, ex that's exactly what life will do. Twist your doggone wig, slam to the back. Do you hear me? Lashes, you done paid two, three hundred dollars for, and they look all good. And the moment that life start coming at you, start coming upside your head, then what happened? Then all of a sudden, the lashes falling out, baby. That's when the tears cry. Whole eyeball. Everything is red and swole up. Understand that. Life will life. Life is not fair. You're going to always experience something in one way or another. All that freshly dripped out outfit that you got going on. Oh, it looked it so good until you went out there and life started life. And now you didn't bust down all the way down to a pair of gym shorts and a t-shirt. That's how, yeah. Yeah, because I wasn't ready for this right here. Them Balenciagas that wasn't going to survive in this right here. Understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doshe. Oh, it won't work in this right here. I, I, this won't work. This won't work. You owe it to yourself to work on yourself from the inside out, not the outside in. The days of walking around, a beautiful disaster is played. Understand that. It's played. The days of walking around, oh, they look so good. Yeah, but have you? do you know the way that they think? Do you know the way that they love? Do you know the way that they relationship? Do you know the way that they show up in life? Baby, don't nobody want to be connected to no beautiful disaster? You look good, but you are toxic. You look good, but you... You, wow, yes, you are one of them. Unheal corner. Go. Face the corner. You are not yet dateable. You have to put yourself in a position where you're self-parenting on a regular basis, self-evaluating yourself every 7 to 14 days because you want to make sure that in every environment that you show up in, that you are not the bad energy, that you are not the bad vibration, that you are not the one. Yeah, because see, sometimes that can happen, right? And that only happens when you're not really working on yourself, when you're not paying attention to your own behavior. And just, yeah, yeah, just as important it is for you to identify what it is that people are doing in your life is also important, equally important for you to see the damage that you're bringing to yourself, the hurt that you're bringing to yourself, the way that you are, what, contributing to your own suffering. That is yet, oh yeah, that's very important, sweets. Understand that. Why? Because everything that you go through, I told you, you're going to deal with the storms that you create and the storms that you allow. Those two things are things that's going to happen no matter what, what you create and what you allow. But one thing that you have to understand, that when you start operating on this journey, when you start getting to this place in your life where you say I want something bigger, that I want something better, and God, you know what? I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow your lead because I didn't see what I'm doing and every time I try to do it, I done messed it up. Every time I done went in and, and acted out of my own way, I done messed it up. Every time I thought that I had it, oh yeah, I done messed it up. Every time I done gave in to my own temptation and thought, oh, they going to be different this time, I done messed it up. Every time I done went back over there because they didn't apologize and we didn't have a whole big family group meeting and we didn't cry and said how we gonna fix the family they didn't came right back a month later and we back I didn't messed it up yeah 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 every single every single time because they didn't show me who they were and I keep going by keep going back the second note is what baby you have to understand that on this journey that we on you follow instructions not emotions that's going to be hard for some folk. You follow instructions, not emotions. See, we can have that heart of gold that the moment that somebody else start crying, we start crying. The moment that we start, yeah, the moment that they start crying, we start crying. They start crying and we start automatically thinking that they are hurt. Oh, they hurt. They regret what they done. They are sorry for what they done. They didn't mean it that way. No, 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 no. Understand, people will sit in your face and be lying and crying at the same exact time. People will sit in your face and they would have a face full of tears. I'm talking about tears, drip, drip, drip snotting, huffing, and puffing, and trying to catch their breath and all of that, and be lying, ooh, baby, be lying up some terribly. Do not be confused. Do not be distracted. Do not be, understand, fool, bamboozled, hoodwinked by somebody that's showing up in your life with a face full of tears. Them folks be lying and crying at the same time. What you call them, coach? Skillful manipulators. They know that you're an emotionally driven person. They know that you got a good heart. They know that you soft as all get out. They know that, yeah, the moment that they started crying, they know that that's the moment that you will back down. The moment that they start shedding them tears, they know that's the moment that you will get quiet. The moment that they start, <sighs> then all of a sudden, no, 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 baby, uh-uh. Hey, crying ain't gonna help. I'm sorry, yeah, that, that, that's where, yeah, mm-mm. 
Yeah, that's 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 just where I'm at, y'all. Come on, double tap on my screen. Double yeah, send me some love real quick. Send me yeah, send me some love real quick. Double tap on my screen. Let me get six badges on IG. Come on, double tap on that screen over here on Facebook. We are almost at 100k. Get us to 100k real quick. We are at 78.6. 78.6. Double tap on that screen. I think that's an eight. Oh no, it's nine. Yeah, yes. Come on, double tap on that screen. Get us up to a thousand on Facebook real quick. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink my water. Yeah, that crime won't work. <laughs> I see. I see him putting it in. I see him putting it in the chat. Oh baby. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. I know. I listen because we all got somebody, right? We all got them criers in the group. We we all got we all got them criers in the group. What's the note, Coach? Follow your instructions. Follow the instructions, not your emotions. Follow the instructions, not your emotions. Your emotions will have you in situations longer than what you were supposed to be. Your emotions will have you turning a stage of your life into a state of your life. Emotional, your emotions will have you overplaying your part. Your emotions will have you over there looking crazy. Your emotions will embarrass the oh shit. What? Thank you, Kira, for the cash app. Your emotions will have you over there looking fool. Do you hear me? Yeah, you follow the instructions. When you see what I told y'all last week, letting go is not what? It's not emotional. It's logical. Letting go is not emotional. This is logical. This facts over feelings. Understand that. I hear what you I hear what you're saying, but I watched your behavior. Understand that. I hear everything that you're saying. I see the tears that you're crying, but I've watched your behavior. Understand that. And your behavior is always going to be what consistent with the way that you think. A person's behavior is always going to be consistent with the way that you think. You behave the way that you think, and you keep doing doing what you're doing because you think that there's not a problem wrong with it. You do what you do because you don't see no wrong in it. One thing's for sure, two things for certain is letting go is, is not emotional, it's logical. It's facts over feelings. Why, coach? Because a person is always going to behave in a way that is consistent with the way that they think. I saw the way that you think, not, not in here, but I saw yeah, yeah, yeah. That made somebody jump up out their bed. They say, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, it's tight, but it's right. It's tight, it's tight, but it's right. You ain't got no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tight, but it's right. You're going to always behave in a way that is consistent with the way that you think. And I've seen the way that you think. Now, I've seen, I've seen the way that you think through your actions. I see, I see everything that I need to know about you. And what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to follow my emotions. I'm going to follow the instructions. What are the instructions when I see that you cannot reciprocate you cannot participate when I see that yeah understand that you do not see me you do not value me you do not respect the person that I am what am I gonna do get up out your face Get up out your face, get up out your way, and I'm going to do it expeditiously. Understand that when I see the person that you are, when I see how you move, when I see how you love, when I see how you relationship, and I see that it's not in alignment with the love that I want, with the type of relationship that I want for myself, then guess what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to get right on up out your face. I'm going to get right on up out your way, and I'm going to do it expeditiously. I'm not going to play with folk. Understand that you're not going to have multiple chances in in this season, you will not receive multiple chances in my life. It's one and it's done. The disrespect was the closure. Understand that. You're not going to get multiple chances to show me what you've already shown me countless times already. You're not going to get multiple chances to drag me across coal. Understand, you're not going to get multiple chances to come and humiliate me. You're not going to get multiple chances to come and stand and disrespect me, to fumble me. Understand this. And, yeah, the disrespect that is the closure. I'm gone. Two fingers swinging. I'm up out your face, up out your way. And that's what people are not used to. People are not used to you stepping back, stepping away and saying, I pick me. So much so that, yeah, people, yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. People, 
But you say, Coach, people are not people not used to you picking you. Yeah, come on. People are not used to you picking you because they've seen people pick other people so many times for so many years. They've been seeing people pick everybody but themselves. So when you start showing up in their life and they start you start showing them that baby, listen here, ain't nobody more important in my life than me. Ain't nobody more valuable in my life than me. If I don't do nothing else, I'm gonna pick me. If I don't love on nobody else, I'm gonna love me. If I don't come through for nobody else, I'm gonna come through for me. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. Is this right here? The person that I am right now today is not the person that I was years ago. I was months ago. I was weeks ago. I am forever growing. I am forever evolving every single day. It's a baby step, right? Every single day, I'm taking one step at a time. No, I'm not doing no drastic change. It's not going to be something that's happening overnight, but just know that I am a work in progress. That I am, yeah, I'm a work in progress, and I'm doing this every single day. I am deserving of a great life. I am deserving deserving of joy. I am deserving of peace. I am deserving of sanity. The days of me walking around all discombobulated, all walking around, all confused in the mind, operating with a level of fear, a level of insecurities and all of these things, baby. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm wrapping this up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> what you say? I'm waiting on it to get to 100K. Double tap on my screen, baby. I'm, I'm wrapping this up. I'm about to unlearn you something. Thank you. Thank you, Leanne 21 for the badge. Let me get, uh, five more, y'all. Let me get five more badges on there. I see one of them. Uh, double tap on the screen. We, I'm waiting on y'all to get to 100K. Y'all at 90, uh, 95.7. I'm about to unlearn you. <laughs> I'm about to unlearn you something and y'all gonna be like, ooh, she started it up today. She, she started it up today. If it's tight, but it's right, but if it's exactly what you needed, send me some love. Send me a good photo over here on TikTok. Send me a badge or two on IG. Send me some stars over here on Facebook. If it's tight, but it's right. But it was, yeah, yeah. If it's tight, but it's just right, coach. I needed to hear that because I've been playing with myself. I needed to hear that because you're right. I pick everybody but me. I needed to hear that because sometimes I get caught up in my emotions. I needed to hear that. I needed to know that I needed to treat myself better, speak to myself, get better, invest in myself more. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I needed to hear every single thing that you dropped this morning. Morning. I've been dealing with beautiful disasters. I've been going back and forth in tennis and conversations. I've been showing more love than what's shown to me. You're absolutely right. It's been tight, but it's been right. It's been just what I needed. I woke up this morning and I've been I've been craving the fact that I needed to fast from people. I've been craving the fact that I needed to distance myself from people. And you're right. I take a lot of notes, but sometimes I don't utilize my notes. I show up to class and sometimes I don't do all the homework in class. So you're right. I'm not getting the best results, not because you're not teaching, not because you don't show up every morning, not because you don't show up on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but because of me. I allow the enemy to distract me from doing what I need to be doing. You're absolute. Can I, hold, I just want to see some people that say I'm holding myself accountable, coach. Yeah, come on. It's tight, but it's right. Yeah, coach, it ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got faith, but I ain't got no words, coach. When you said that right there, I jumped up out of my bed. I jumped, I jumped up out of my bed. I flew down my hallway. You're absolutely right. I show up to the class and got the notes, but don't work them. You right, and I got the faith, but don't work it. That, and, and, and then I get mad at everybody else when things don't work out the way that I want them to work out. Friend, yeah, I, then I get mad at everybody else when I don't get the results that everybody else get. I start to sit in the class and won't come on screen. I started to sit back in my life and won't say nothing because I'm embarrassed and it seemed like people that came in after me They way ahead of me and they just get it and I don't No, they just working and you ain't understand that we're in quarter three and in order for you to be able to get the life that you want You got to be willing to work W-O-R-K all big capital letters put it inside of the chat in order for you to get the life that you want You got to be willing to work Understand that you got to be willing to work. You got to be willing to push yourself you got to be willing to become what? Somebody that you've never been before. Your new life is going to require a new you. You can't show up into your new life with your same old thoughts. You can't show up in your new life with your same old work ethics. Understand, you, every job requires something different. You, If you worked over here in foods before, if you was working over here in foods, you had a certain level of PPE, protective gear, that you had to have. You had to have your hair pulled back. You had to have all this other stuff going on because of the job that you 
was over there doing. But then when you decided that you was no longer going to work out there in the warehouse, understand you ain't driving no Fort Lifts. You ain't over there working no pallet jacks. You ain't over there around no food. Now when you go over to the office job, come on Janice, thank you for the stars. When you start working the office job, then you ain't got to wear your steel toe shoes. You ain't got to wear your um, protective glasses. You ain't got to pull your hair back. Now you can do your makeup. Now you can put on your heels. Now you can show up different. Every job that you're doing in your life is going to require something different. You got to be willing to become somebody different. Your new life is going to require a new you. You look like working at a desk with steel toe boots, hard hat, what you look like sitting in the private front desk, dress up like that? Thank you, Kim, for the cash out. What you look like? But what if I was telling you that's how some of y'all showing up in your life? Unprepared. That's how some of y'all are showing up in your life, unprepared. You don't even know what your assignment is. You showing up in your life unprepared unaware you don't even know what your assignment is because if you knew what your assignment was you would have dressed the part thank you Shanetta for the teddy bear you showing up and not even ready and you blaming other people for you not having you blaming other people for not getting the results you're holding other people accountable for work that you did not done you did not do i'm not responsible for your irresponsibility that's on you you didn't do the work you didn't show up for class you disconnected yourself you separated yourself from your source it was you it had nothing to do with other people it's the same thing that's happening with your faith you get mad at god oh you ain't hearing my prayers it just ain't working for me i be praying and praying and praying and it ain't da 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 but yeah yeah you got faith when you get down on your knees and pray but when you get up you don't even walk like you believe what you just pray you don't even talk like you believe what you just pray you just pray and that's it you say your prayer and you just automatically assume that everything that you just prayed for it's just going to fall in alignment just like that no when you pray you have to also work it's faith and works they run hand in hand you can't have faith and no works and you can't have no works and without the faith you have to be able to conjoin the two it don't work like that your new life is going to require a new you you can't take the old mindset you can't take the old ways of showing up the old broken work ethics you got to be able and willing to tighten up in your own life and the biggest issue that we have is people are wanting something brand new while remaining the same. Oh, you want brand new this? You want, you want brand new this? You want brand new that? But ain't nothing about you changed. You want brand new this and brand new that, but ain't nothing about you changed. What was that note, coach? Because, yeah, yeah, follow instructions, not your emotions. The next thing I'm going to, yeah, you're you going to you gonna have to wake up and understand that note number three. Note number three is going to be this right here. You have to keep your fire burning. You have to keep your fire burning. Well, put that in your notes real quick. You got to keep your fire burning. How do I keep my fire burning, coach? Because you have to study. You have to open up the books. You have to download the audio books. Remember what I said? Your belief in yourself is going to be shown, understand, by the way you treat yourself, speak to yourself, and invest in yourself. You're going to have to, the same way you invest in yourself to make sure you look good on the outside, you're going to have to invest in yourself to make sure that you look good on the inside as well. Understand that you have to keep your fire burning. How somebody just asked me, well, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on Facebook to catch up. I don't see them, I don't see um, keep your fire burning over here. I need y'all to put it in the chat keep your fire burning okay i see you thank you so much i see is, is it jaw jaw got it over here keep your fire burning thank you donna walker come on come on in cynthia hopkins how you doing double tap on it i gotta keep my fire burning how yeah preparation before promise i gotta keep my fire burning how do i do that coach preparation it's preparation before promise Preparation before promise. Why do you think I'm harping so much on the work that you do? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, I told you. It's always, it's always a reasoning behind what I teach, what I give you guys. Preparation before promise. Ooh, yeah, sling that wig on across that room. Sling that, sling the wig. Don't worry about it. Hold on to the phone. I got more notes. Yeah, sling, sling that wig across the room. Cause somebody just, somebody, somebody just got their, they, somebody just got their confirmation. I knew I was going through this for, for some reason. I knew it was a reason why. I knew it was a reason why I was having to pray like how I'm praying. I knew it was a reason why I was fasting like how I was fasting. I knew it was a reason why the enemy kept attacking me last week. It was always something left and right. I found myself praying like I ain't never prayed before. I kept saying I ain't never been in this much pain. But because I've been studying and so much and reading so much and attending class so much and making sure that I'm doing my morning routine, I kept telling myself, yeah, you ain't never been in this much pain, but you ain't never been in this much prayer either. The pain that you're in is pushing you to pray more. The obstacles that you're facing right now is encouraging you to fast more. Every time you hit a hurdle, every single time you get a trial or a tribulation, have you notice you don't even feel defeated anymore you don't feel overpowered anymore you don't feel like you're gonna get taken out it just push you to pray it just push you to fast it just push you in the class it push you to open up your book understand that you're reading you're supposed to read two chapters you're the red four you're supposed to read one chapter in the bible you're the red three you just be rolling sweets understand everything that you face now you jump into that book you jump into that prayer you all of a sudden your pressure plan your pressure plan is top tier so so things that used to break you, it don't even break you. It don't even phase you no more. You used to be sitting over there soaking and crying. Now you can't even force a tear out your eye. You just squinching. Ain't nothing dropping out. You can't even force a tear out no more. Why? Because you're disconnected from it. You're no, you're, it no longer has the effect that it used to have on you. It used to make you break down. Used to have you over there in tears. Used to have you stressed out. Used to have you sad and depressed. Used to say something to you and you will fall all apart. Now it don't have the same effect that it used to have on you no more. Why? Because I've outgrown that. I'm past that now. Understand that. I'm working on myself every single day. And now when I face obstacles, now when I come into different things in my life that are trying, that are dark and understand. Yeah, instead of me looking at it and looking at it with a negative way, now I look at it and I know, oh, I got some growth attached to that. I got a blessing attached to that. I got deliverance attached to that. I know it's something that I'm supposed to walk away from, from with that. I don't look at it anymore like, oh yeah, I'm about to go down. I look at it now like, oh yeah, that's my new level. Understand my perspective have changed. The way I see things have changed. My view of it has changed. Yeah, that's right. I no longer have that broken type of mindset. Come on, double tap on the screen real quick. Let's be for real. Let's 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 be for real. Mm -hmm. What you say? Keep your fire burning. I got to keep my fire burning. And the only way that I'm going to keep my fire burning, why is it important for me to keep my fire burning? Preparation before promise. I can't get to my promise without the preparation. The preparation is needed. I got to struggle. I got to cry a little bit. I got to endure. I got to increase my endurance. In order for me to get that life that I want, I got to be able to push through because the life that I want over there, I'm going to have to be able to maintain it. And without my preparation. I can receive my promise, but I'll lose it. I'll fumble it. I'll mess it up. I'll mishandle it. That's right. So I have to prepare myself for the life that I want. We don't just get pregnant on a Monday, have a baby on a Friday. When you are pregnant, when you get pregnant, you have nine months, almost 10 really, to prepare for the coming of the baby. You have nine months. You have checkups with the doctor. You have, yeah, yeah, you have checkups with the doctor. You get your ultrasound. You get your blood samples. You get all this stuff going on. You have time to prepare the baby's room or the baby's area in your room. You have a preparation time for anything that you're about to give birth to. Anything that you're about to create. Anything that you're about to do in your life. You have to have a preparation before you have a promise. Come on. Free say yes, coach. Double tap on the screen. Let's, let's be real. But the problem... The problem come in is we want the promise before the preparation. What to say, Coach? But the problem is we want we want we want promise before we want preparation. And when we get promise before preparation, we misuse it. When we get promise before preparation, we fumble it. When we get promise before preparation, we mishandle it. And we yeah 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 we mishandle it and we end up losing it all. When we get promise before preparation, we end up losing 
we end up losing, losing it all. Because we didn't have the knowledge and the understanding that we needed to be able to protect it. We didn't know what to feed it. We didn't know how to change it. We didn't know how to comfort it. We didn't know how to take care of the promise that we got. We just knew what we wanted and we finessed our way. We 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 baboozled our way. We found a way to go. We, we leaned to our own understanding. We went on our own way and we went over there and got it. And the moment that you got your promise, the moment that you got your blessing, you got that thing that you wanted. You wanted a relationship so bad. You wanted that relationship relationship so bad, sweet. Yeah. Now you got the relationship and you went your own way and found your Mr. Ro your Mr. Right, right? Then you found out your Mr. Right was really Mr. Wrong, but that was on you. You went out there and found that on your own. That wasn't God's sin. You went over there because they looked apart. They smelled the part. They talked apart. The they had distance and you felt like it all lined up. And now look at you over there, hair falling out, losing weight, can't eat, can't sleep. Don't want, they won't text back, won't call back. Oh, it was all happy, happy, joy, joy in the very beginning until they got you over there, hooked up with them. Now look at you. I'm talking about what? It ain't even the edges. You know how newborn baby, when they be laying down, all the hair around the front and the back and the sides be gone. They just got that little bit of mo. Some of y'all got a mohawk. They ain't got nothing but a little mohawk up top. Everything around the sides gone. Every, every, every everything around the sides gone. Why? Wow, leaning to your own understanding. Leaning to your own understanding, going out there doing what you want to do, how you want to do it. And now you're walking around looking like a toddler in the head. I'm talking about ain't, no, ain't nothing around the sides. Nothing around the sides. That's, that's your stress level. Ain't nothing around the sides. Just ball up. I'm talking about that back part back there. It's real ball. Because, you know, they be, they, the back part is real. a ski ball. I'm talking about you can grab some Vaseline on it. It is just, just nothing. Just nothing. Come on. Let's be real about it. Acting out of your acting out of your own way. All because you don't want to work. All because you don't want to work for the life that you want. Laziness, complacency. If you want anything out of life, you gotta be willing. You gotta be willing to do the work. You gotta be willing to follow the plan. You gotta be willing to push all the way through. Even in the times when you don't feel like it. Even in the times when you want to give up, when you want to give in, you know you you, you value yourself, right? Your belief in yourself is based on what? The way you treat yourself, to speak to yourself, and the way that you're willing to invest in yourself. You have to see yourself as deserving. You have to see yourself as worthy. You have to see yourself as a, like that, right? That, that belongs to me. And you can't always be acting out of your emotions. You can't always be wrapped up in your feelings. You can't always be sitting over there thinking that, oh yeah, well, it, well you know, I just like the way that it make me feel. Okay, them feelings I have you shown up, messed up over there, but I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go to my next note. I'm ready to go to my next note right now. Okay, yeah, because when you're wrapped up in your feelings, you're going to be wrapped up in what? Fight or flight. I told you I was going to unlearn you something. Send me some love. Mm-mm. When you wrapped up in your feelings, you're gonna be wrapped up in that fight or flight. When you are wrapped up in your feelings, you're going to be wrapped up in fight or flight. Oh, coach, wait a minute. This is what the professors told us. Don't act, yeah, don't act like that, coach. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. But when you're operating with a level of faith and you're trusting God to do exceedingly and abundantly all that you can ask or think, then you have to stop looking at things in the natural and start looking at things from a more spiritual aspect. Heather, hold hold on to hold on to me, Heather Smith. Hold on to me because I feel like I feel like I'm going there. Hold on, hold on to me a little bit. I'm there. Come on, Heather Gigan, I see you. When you are what? When you're operating with a, a spiritual mindset, when you have said, I decrease so that you can increase in my life, when you say that I take off my perspective and I take on your perspective, I want you to lead and I will follow. Understand? So what you mean? That goes back to the up note that I gave you up there. We follow instructions, not our emotions. Understand that fight and flight is connected to the DNA within each and every one of us. That means that I'm 
operating out of my emotions, so I go into fight or flight mode whenever I feel like I'm in harm or at danger or I'm shocked by what's happening in my life. But if I'm operating with a more spiritual mindset, if I'm operating in the mindset of I decrease so that you can increase inside of my life, if I'm not leaning to my understanding, but leaning to your understanding, and I'm allowing you to lead my life and I'm following your lead so I'm no longer following my emotions, but I'm following the instructions, then that means what? I say we mark out fight or flight. And I want you to insert faith and flow. I want you to mark out on your notepads, fight and flight. And I want you to insert faith and flow. Oh, I know some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get finished dancing, when you, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I see, I knew the dance was coming. I see the dancing lady. Double tap, double tap, double tap. Because see, some of y'all caught it right then and right there. I want to get off this thing so doggone bad, baby. Yeah, come on. We just I, I take that out. Baby, yeah. I'm not your yeah, fight or flight. No, no, no. I don't, I don't want to operate with that. Baby, I want you, uh, yeah. I want you to understand that I'm tired. This ain't my battle. I'm tired of fighting battles. That's not mine. That's not my battle to fight. Understand? That's what he said. He said, these battles are not mine. That's it. Yeah, I don't have have to fight that battle and guess what i ain't gotta run from nothing understand that, that he's not the yeah he, he didn't give me the spirit of fear so what am i running from i'm not fighting no battles because these battles are not mine i'm not running from nothing because he said i didn't give you the spirit of fear and the only time that i'm gonna run away from something is if i have fear of something and i don't have any fear of anything but him understand that almighty understand that all powerful understand that yeah 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 there's no place there's no obstacle. There's nothing that I'm going to deal with in life that's going to be too big or too hard for him. I remove that fight and that flight and I insert faith and flow. Oh, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to unlearn it real quick. Yeah, yeah. Because when I'm no longer operating, I'm no longer operating with that mindset. That's right. I mean, in order for me to become something new, in order for me to become something new, in order for me to receive something new, I got to become something new so that old mindset is not going to be able to be. I have to remove that old mindset. I'm inserting faith and flow. Why faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of th evidence of Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Even though it's not tangible, I believe that it's there. It's coming to me. Understand, it, 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 it's coming to me. Even though I can't touch it right now, it's coming to me. I believe in the flow. I believe that if I, I trust in him, I believe if I rely on him, if I follow him, that every single thing that I want and that I need is going to flow. That's right. A relax and a track. It's going to flow. My life is going to have a flow. My business is going to have a flow. My brand is going to have a flow. My mindset flow. My creativeness flow. My love flow. I have a flow. My faith creates an unstoppable flow. <clears throat> come on, coach, good God. Well, my, 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 my faith, come on, Crystal Love, my, my faith has created an unstoppable flow. I'm winning and I can't stop winning. Understand, I'm winning and I can't stop winning. That victimized mentality, that scarce mentality, that lack thinking, I have let go of all of that because now I see exceedingly. I see abundance in my future. I see overflow in my future. I see pressed down and shaking together in my future. Understand? I have so much going on in my life right now. So much going on in my life right now that yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know what to do. You know how you start winning so much that you just step back and just win. You see how when you you start winning, you just kind of step back and you just win. You just yeah, come on now. When you start winning, you just you step back. You just step back and you just you just keep winning. You just step back and you keep winning. Now that I'm winning, I can't stop winning. I have an overflow in my life that I just can't believe. Come on, 
I just I just can't believe. Double tap on my screen. That's that right there is the mindset that we're gonna need going into quarter three. That's what we're gonna have to, yeah, that's what we're gonna need in quarter three. That's how we have to operate in quarter three. That's how we have to show up in quarter three. This is what we owe to ourselves. This right here, this is what we owe. This is what we owe to ourselves. The life that you deserve is going to be the life that you're going to work for. If you remember about a year back, I said that God is going to let you live on whatever level that you settle for. So if you settle for dysfunction, if you settle for mediocre, if you settle for basic, then that's exactly what you're going to have. If you constantly allow somebody to treat you a certain type of way, then that's exactly what you're going to get. And you're going to get it every single time. You have to understand, put this in your note, that every step that you take, good, bad, or indifferent, is all a part of the plan. Every step that you take, it's all part of the plan. It's all part of so there's no need for you to be afraid. There's no need for you to ever go in a fight or flight mode. Everything that you experience, good, bad, or indifferent, it's all part, it's all part of the plan. I'm not facing nothing that hasn't been already orchestrated by God. He knew exactly what it was that I was going to do. He knew what I was going to go through. He knew what I was going to face. And he says, I'm not going to test you beyond your strength. That's what he said, that scripture right there. He says, I'm not going to test you beyond your strength. And I've already prepared an escape route for you. All you got to do is be committed. All you got to do is follow the instructions. Get out of your emotions. All you have to do is operate that faith. That faith will operate that flow. And everything that you need, every instrument that you might need, everything, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to flow right there to you. You ain't got to run. If you're running, you're not going to get what I'm giving you. You're running away from what I, I, I put you there. I put you there because I knew that you were able. I put you there because I knew that you could do it. I put you there. I understand. Come on. Let's get this over with. Every step is a part of the plan. And what you have to do in quarter three is what? You have to end. There's another note right here. Every step is part of the plan. Your next note is... You have to increase your appetite for more. What'd you say, coach? You have to increase your appetite for more. You have to increase your appetite for more. You want more? What are you willing to do to get it? What are you willing to go through? To get it. That more that you want, it's going to require your work. It's going to require a shift in your perspective. It's going to require discipline. It's going to require commitment. It's going to require you to become somebody that's completely brand new. And again, you can't show up working in the front office with the same attire that you had when you was working in the warehouse. You have to take that stuff off. You have to take that stuff off. Listen to that part. Take that stuff off. Take off the extra weight, the extra baggage. Take off the stress. Take off the anxiety. Take off the insecurities. Take off the fear. You have to take that stuff off and come prepared to do the new job. That's how you have to show up every single day of your life. Every day, every day of your life, you owe that right there. You owe that to yourself. You have to keep your fire burning. How do we keep our fire burning, coach? Studying. 
Open up the books. Get into the classes. Invest in your spiritual and mental health. That is equally important. Just as important as the clothes that you rock, the, the car that you drive, the house that you live in. Nobody cares about how many likes and comments and shares, how many followers you have on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We want to know what your mental look like. Understand the way that you think, the way that you operate, the way that you love, the way that you communicate. All of those things right there, those things are top tier that should be on the top of the list dressing you is easy but I can't afford another beautiful disaster understand that and that's in every aspect of your life I can't afford another beautiful disaster Double tap on the screen. He says, you have to keep your fire burning. I keep my fire burning by making sure that I'm studying. I'm fasting. I'm praying. Operating with my pressure plan. Staying tapped in the way that I need to. Why? Because preparation before promise. Before I can rip my promise, I want to make sure that I've prepared myself. I have to make sure that I have aligned myself. I have to make sure that I have enough formula, enough pampers, enough towels, enough body wash, enough shampoo. I got to be able to, be, I got to be able to care for the baby baby that I'm about to birth. I got to make sure that I got it in me to be able to handle the job. You ain't going to get out there on the basketball court and never went to practice. They ain't even finna give you a uniform, not even a practice jersey. Come on now. It's the same thing in life. You want to jump in the game with no practice. You want to jump out there and start doing it with no practice. No, ma'am. No, sir. That's not how this thing operates. That's not what it is. All right? It's preparation before promise. We're removing fight and flight and inserting faith and flow. Fight and flight means that you're taking on fight. You're taking on battles that's not yours. He said these battles are not yours. Flight means you're running. And you only run when you're afraid. He hasn't even given you the spirit of fear. What are you afraid of? There's nothing that you're going to face. No obstacle that you're going to go through. Nothing that you're going to deal with in life that's too big for him. No giant that's going to be too big for him. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly all that you can ask or think. What are you running for? You're running and tired and ready for nothing. Unnecessary pain. Unnecessary tiredness, unnecessary frustration. It says have faith. Your faith is going to increase a flow. Your faith is going to create and increase a flow. All you have to have is faith. All you have to do is trust me that I'm going to do it. Align yourself for the prayers that you just put out there. Make sure everything, yeah, and I got you. I got you covered. I got you covered so much. I, I told y'all it's going to be pressed down, shaking together, and running over. That type of clover, that type of flow, that type of running in your life. Understand that. What you talking about? Your winning time is right now. The moment that you understand that every step is a part of the plan. Everything that you're facing is a part of the plan. There's nothing new. Every, every obstacle, every trial, every tribulation, every dark hour that you face is orchestrated through God. He already knew what you was going to do and what you was going to face way before you. And he says, what? I'm not going to test you beyond your strength. I know exactly what it is that you can handle. I know exactly what it is that you can face. And I've already, exp I've already created that escape route right there for you. When it's time for you to come out, I'm going to bring you out. You're going to see the door. You're going to see the window. And all you're going to do is come right on through it. I got everything that you need. All I need you to do in, while you're in this situation that you're in, all I need you to do while you're experiencing the pain of whatever it is that you're feeling, whatever it is that you're facing in your life right now, I just need you to endure it and endure it with a smile. I I need you to endure it with good energy. I need you to endure it with faith. I need you to endure it knowing that I'm going to bring you out. That's all I want you to do. So whoever right now, if you laying face flat on your face, get it's time to get up. If you over there talking about stress, let it go. You talking about anxiety, let it go. This right here, this is to, to teach you to strengthen your endurance. It's about he who endures until the end. You, you in, endurance, baby. All I got to do is get up. Wipe the tears away from your eyes. I understand. You feel like you don't deserve it. You feel like it shouldn't have happened to you. You feel like it was wrong. You feel like it was unfair. Understand that life is unfair. Life will put some knots upside your head. Life will send some things your way that you know that ain't even, that wasn't even for me. Why in the world? Understand that it's all a part of the plan. Shake it 
off. Shake it off and get back in the game. Understand that. Pick yourself up. It's some folk that want to see you down. That want to see you depressed. That want to see you stressed out. It's some people that set those things your way just to get that type of reaction from you. But I want you to get up this morning. Shift your perspective and know that you still got some go in you. Get up. Get up and go. Get out of that bed and go. Get out of that warm shower. Blow out all those candles. Turn off all that sad music and go. Stop writing that long paragraph. Delete it. Hit the block. Go. Remove them off all of your pages so you don't see what they doing. They don't see what you doing and go. Stop trying to interact with the family and the friends so you can stay updated on what they got going on. Go. Disconnect yourself. Ain't no need for no one more conversation or come and tell me that to my face. Go. It's time for you to pick yourself up and go. It's time for you to pick yourself and go. It's time for you to increase your appetite for more. Look around. Look around. I dare you to write in the chat, I deserve more. I deserve more. I deserve, I deserve more. Speak it over your life, I deserve more. What in the world am I thinking? I deserve more. Well, wait a minute. I just, you mean, mm, I didn't even know I was settling how I was settling. I deserve more. I didn't even realize the stuff that I was really putting up with. Baby, I deserve more. I didn't know that I was really taking myself through the way that I be taking my, I deserve more. You mean to tell me I'm just letting somebody pick and choose when they want to love me? Pick and choose when they want to deal with me? Pick and choose when they want to do right when by me? Only when it's convenient? for them I deserve more I got somebody over here got me stuck in the in between stages of life don't know if we together or not together if we in a relationship or not in a relationship I deserve more I got somebody over here that talked to me crazy and then after they didn't talk to me crazy turn right back around and ask me for a favor that's how less they think about me I deserve more people that can go outside of their way don't talk to me when they got a celebration do whatever they want to do in their life when they happy happy joy joy I don't get an invite don't get a text message or SOS West message or nothing, but as soon as they life started falling apart, as soon as things start happening, I'm the first person they call. Wait a minute, I deserve more. I'm more of a friend to them than they've ever been to me. Understand that I deserve more. They call me, I come running. They need me, I come and do. But when I need, when I'm calling, nobody answers. When I need, nobody got it. I deserve more. I'm demanding more. I want more. I've increased my appetite for more. If you cannot reciprocate, you can no longer participate Participate in my life type of more. More. I deserve more. I deserve more. And I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to give up, coach, until I get my more. I'm not going to throw in the towel on myself, coach, until I get my more. I'm not going to walk away from this thing until I get my more. I got my Jacob type of mentality on. We're going to tell so all night until I get my more. I'm not turning it loose until I get my more. Understand that. Yeah, come on now. You have to. Yeah, I need my more. Thank you so much, Khalil Gray. Got my bear. Yeah, that was how much I deserve more. Friend said, I deserve more. I deserve more. I deserve more. And when you know that you deserve more, you stop settling for less. When you know that you deserve more, you stop settling for less. Every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground, I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because it's no love like self-love and you first have got to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else. It's your favorite online motivational speaker and life coach and this week we're talking about opening up the gates. The opening up the gates for the flow of more. You want more in your life? Remove that fear and flight. Insert that faith and flow. Let it flow. But as long as that gate is closed, you're blocking yourself off. You deserve more. You deserve bigger. You deserve better. You deserve extreme in your life. But in order for you to get it, you have to work towards it. You have to shift your perspective, right? Change the way that you see life. Change the way that you do life on a regular basis. And sometimes you have to change the people that you're doing life with. 
as well. Understand what I said in the beginning of this video. I'm going to get where I'm going in life, even if that means that I have to drop you off. If I got to drop you off, if I got to let you out at the next stop, drop you off at that McDonald's, at that Burger King, at that Family Dollars parking lot, then that's exactly what I'm going to do because I'm going to get where I'm going in life and I'm going to get there peacefully. I refuse to allow anybody to rob me of my peace, of my joy, of my sanity. I deserve more and I'm not going to stop until I get it. Open up your gates. Open up your gates for more. If I blessed your soul this morning, if I motivated you, if I inspired you in any way, if you got your morning motivation, if you got your inspiration, if you got your confirmation this morning, send me some love on TikTok, man. Give me some love on TikTok. If you got your inspiration, your confirmation, your, your motivation on IG, send me some love on IG. Same thing on Facebook, man. If I blessed your soul this morning, if I gave you exactly what it was that you needed this morning, go ahead and double tap on my screen. Send me some love. Uh, can we get up to Can we get up to 2K on the star? on Facebook, we had uh, 1420. If we can get up to 2K, that'll mean we'll reach our goal over there. We need eight badges to reach our goal on IG. Over here, we are already at 200K. Can we get one more teddy bear over on TikTok? Double tap on that screen so much. Thank you so much, Cena. I appreciate that badge. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Double tap, double tap, double tap on that screen. Good morning to each and every one of y'all. I love me some you. Thank you, Danielle. Danielle, appreciate you. What was that? Was it Sylvia? Hold on, Sylvia. Yeah, thank you, Sylvia, for the stars. Thank you, Shirley, for the stars. I'm, I'm telling everybody one more time, I will be this Saturday. You can keep catch me in Wardroff, Maryland. Wardroff, Maryland, we are on the way Saturday, July the 27th. It's a sold out event. I will be in Wardroff, Maryland, and that's going to be happening this Saturday. Yes, so you can meet me out there, man. I love me some of you. If you love the energy, if you love the word that I give online, then you're definitely going to love the word that we're going to to give in person on this Saturday. I love me some you. Thank you, Erica, for the teddy bear. I appreciate you. You're going to love the experience that we're going to have on this Saturday. I'm super excited about being out there. Y'all know the DMV. That's my place right there. I love it in the DMV, man. I, I don't I don't know. Every, everywhere I go up north, it's always a blessing, but we ain't going to forget the fact. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Neek Neek, that I'm also August the 17th, Saturday, August the 17th. If you in Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, any of the surrounding areas. I need you to do me a favor. Make your way to Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee, Saturday, August the 17th. Saturday, August the 17th. Saturday, August the 17th. I am coming to Nashville, Tennessee. That's right. Impact Church. The Impact Church I will be at the Impact Church. I'm going to be speaking at the Impact Church in Nashville, Tennessee. And that's going to be Saturday, August the 17th. The flyer should be ready on today. But the Eventbrite link is up right now. So I need y'all to go and grab your tickets expeditiously. Put your boots on. Get your cowboy hats. Be prepared, baby. Because we're going to have us a good time down there in Nashville, Tennessee. I love me some of you guys, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in this morning. I hope and pray that I bless y'all so this morning. Go away from this video feeling inspired feeling uplifted feeling full i want you guys to enjoy the rest of y'all day y'all be blessed